Micro embolization is an interventional radiology procedure where a small catheter is passed into the uterine arteries and particles are injected into the uterine arteries, treating the fibroids so that they then shrink and hopefully the symptoms that they're causing are resolved. Fibroids are very common tumours uh, within women, or 30% of women will, could, will, may well develop, develop fibroids, but not everyone develops symptoms from the fibroids. And it's patients who have symptomatic fibroids are patients who would be potentially suitable candidates for embolization. So those are women who have got symptoms such as heavy, heavy periods or menorrhagia, as we call it medically, um, painful periods, or periods that, um, or fibroids that are causing pressure symptoms, such as fibroids that are sitting on the bladder, causing urinary frequency or urgency or bowel-related problems. The patients may also be uh, quite conscious of a mass in, in the abdomen causing pressure effects within the tummy itself. So it's women really who, who have symptomatic fibroids are women potentially who could be treated. Um, normally, patients are assessed as to whether or not fibroid embolization is suitable for them. Uh, so we would need, I would need to see patients uh, in an outpatient clinic uh, um, setting to discuss fibroid embolization with them. And patients would routinely normally have an MRI scan, which would be able to assess the fibroid and or fibroid burden to assess the position of the fibroids and also whether or not they would be suitable for embolization um, when we would give the patient some contrast dye as well. Oh, and one last thing is that um, we, embolization is also not just for fibroids. It can also be, ooh, but also be used to treat a condition called adenomyosis, um, which is another condition that can give the painful periods. Um, it isn't as effective as fibroid embolization, but certainly should also be considered a treatment option. It's worth mentioning. So fibroid embolization is performed in an interventional radiology suite in the intervention. I'm quite unique in how I perform it um, in my trust uh, in regards to the fact that uh, I, I use it, I do the procedure with an anaesthetist. The reason why that is, is because the patient can then have a spinal anaesthetic which makes the patient numb from the waist down and takes away any pain that they would otherwise feel from the procedure. And they would also have some sedation alongside that. So the patient has a very, very good, comfortable experience. The spinal anaesthetic also has some, some high dose painkillers in it. So that also takes away the acute pain that they may otherwise feel if they weren't to have um, this, this method of anaesthesia. Uh, and sedation control as well. So the patient has a really nice, comfortable experience having it done this way. I then puncture the artery with the groin. There is no incision, there is no scar. Um, and we then use our x-ray equipment to guide some small catheters into the uterine arteries on both sides of the uterus. And we inject some little tiny particles which have been used for many, many years into the uterine arteries, which then go to the fibroids and block off their blood supply and block and therefore the nutrients and oxygen are cut to the fibroids and therefore it encourages them to shrink um, and resolve the patient's symptoms, hopefully. In regards to comparison with myomectomy and hysterectomy, um, the risk profile is significantly less as well as the recovery profile as well. So as opposed to myomectomy and hysterectomy, the recovery from a, a embolization takes approximately two weeks, as opposed to um, two months maybe with, with, with myomectomy and three to four months with hysterectomy. Um, in regards to comparing with myomectomy, it's equal as effective improving improving quality of life as opposed to myomectomy, um, but as opposed to surgery, um, we're not removing the fibroid, we're encouraging the fibroid to shrink, which um, is a, a different concept, obviously. So there are some minor risks. First, if we think about the acute period following the embolization, there are some minor risks of bruising or bleeding from the groin. That's very unusual, though, because we're using very small, tiny catheters, but it's a potential small risk. Um, patients should expect within the first one to two weeks to feel a little bit mildly feverish and a little bit 
potentially low in mood or fatigued. These are what we call the post embolization syndrome. It's actually part and part and parcel of the procedure itself. There is a less than one percent risk of needing a hysterectomy, and it's a very very rare complication. Um, but it's usually due to infection potentially within the fibroids. Now we usually give some antibiotics during the procedure to try and prevent that. Um, but that is one of the if well that is the major risk. There is also a risk of um, vaginal discharge or expulsion of the fibroid, depending, um, which can be increased depending on the fibroid's location, which is why a counselling or outpatient consultation is very important to go through that process um, to see if patients are at higher risk of that happening, as well as there's uh, some more minor risks of um, of going through an early menopause the older the older the patient is. Now that's in the region of maybe about two to four percent. So fibroid embolization is an extremely effective procedure in the suit of right in the in the suitable patient. Um, it's in the region of about eighty five percent and even up to ninety percent experience um satisfaction from the procedure. And I think what's important if you are to consider treatments in in conjunction is that every single patient is different and should be treated as so. So what's important with fibroids is it's a patient-centered approach. Not one site, one, not, not one shoe fits every, every foot for this procedure. Um, not one size fits all. Uh, it's a completely patient-centered, patient-tailored approach um, that can be used in conjunction with surgery, um, as well as ablations, as well as medical treatments. So uh, this is why a, a consultation is really important because not everybody, just because you have fibroids doesn't mean to say that you are suitable. Um, so it's, it's important that every patient is treated uh, individually for this condition.